Hi, uh, I'm Ilya from BitScout and this is the second video about forecasting and in this video we're going to generate some forecasts. In the previous video I, we showed you how to prepare the model and the model needs some time to, to be ready. So now it's ready, we can see it's, it has an active status and we received an email notification about that. So the next thing we need to do is to do an output. So we need to tell the model where you want the data, when you want, where you want the forecasts. So here, let's say for, let's put forecast output sales. So we're forecasting sales uh, with this model, with this example, it's that model. And then we take all this value. These are basically worst case, average case, and the best case scenarios that we want to see. And then let's select our project. And this project is this one. And what we need to do is we need to select the fields, the number fields where we should write that. Okay. And this is all going to be numbers. All right. So now we have our output and now we build a workflow. Workflow is, uh, is basically what you're going to see in Monday. Forecasting sales test. Okay, you need to use text. And let's select our model. It was forecasting. It's this one. And then we need to add an output, which will be this one. Okay. All is ready. So now uh, in Monday we we gonna have to use a s special recipe just for forecasting because this recipe needs two dates from and to. It's a monthly uh, forecast, so it's gonna be from let's say first of January to first of February. Okay, let's forecast January. January. Okay, and uh, uh, we should put the dates here. Uh, we created the model, this test model, uh, up till 2016, we have the data. So I want to have January and uh, February. Okay. All right. Okay, so one month. And the identifier is product one. And don't forget to put this data. Uh, because we need to know uh, which product you want to forecast. And this is how the recipe looks like. Uh, so when status changes to something, get forecast from and to. Uh, these are our fields for item, uh, because you can have two items, three, four, five, and you need, we need to know for which item you want to forecast. And the, here we need to change the, uh, the workflow for this one, and that's it. So let's generate a forecast. Okay. Once again, and now if we run it, okay, while it's running, let me create forecast for June. Same thing, we select 2017, but we take June and then take till 1st of July. Okay, product is product one. Okay. Okay, here they are and here they are for June. Let's have a look if everything is all right. Yep. So here you have your forecast. Now you can plot them on, on, on the chart. And this is basically how it works. Uh, thanks a lot for your time and feel free to ask any questions uh, using a chat on our website or inside the platform. Thank you.